Here's what I'm going to do right now. I don't know what else. I don't have anything else planned. So, well, I might do that cutting board that I cut out the other day and didn't get finished or didn't do in the other video, my last video. But anyways, I'm going to paint this all black, and I want to show you. I'm going to try something. Uh, I had about this much left in this container, and then I had a new one, and this is just acrylic paint. And my black chalk paint is just all but gone. It wouldn't be enough to finish this. And I had bought this Dover's Chalk Paint Mix years and years and years ago. So I thought, well, I've never used it. I might as well try it. So I'm going to try it now. What I did is I took a Solo cup and I emptied what was in this. And then, well, first off, I put my Solo cup on a scale and I tarred it out and then I poured the rest of this out in there and then I took the new bottle and I poured some more in there until I had eight eight ounces because that's what the this uh, right there eight ounces and I took one tablespoon of hot water and two tablespoons of the mix and put them like in a little cup like that and stirred it up real good and then put it in the solo cup with the paint and mixed it up. Then with a funnel, I poured it into this. So that's what I'm going to be using. A lot of explanation for probably nothing. Anyways, I'm going to try that. I want to paint this all black and I want to do a crackle on it, but I want a large crackle. And... The uh, jot glue that I got from Dollar Tree, when I use it, it puts just that real little tiny crackle. I, well, the last video I had, it, you saw, if you watched that video, it doesn't do a large crackle. It was just a little bitty one. So I had tried this here, and it didn't work. And this bottle was actually brand new. I got it from the thrift store, but it was still had the plastic on it. It was bland, brand new. And I got very, very little crackle with it. So, I am going to try this Deco Art Crackle, One Step Crackle. And you're supposed to put it, I'll paint this black, and then you're supposed to put a coat thin for fine crackles and thick for large crackle. So, I'm going to do it thick, and then you're supposed to let it dry from two to four hours. But I'm just going to do one side to see how it works. And that's where I'm going to start now. But i got to paint this all black. All right, I've got it painted, and I'm going to wait for it to dry good. And I wanted to tell you all, if you don't have a Lazy Susan in your craft room, you need to get one. Because painting this would have been kind of difficult. But with this Lazy Susan, I could paint one side and just twirl it to here to this side. And then just keep twirling as I went. And it made it so easy. So if you don't have one, you need to check your thrift stores for one. Because they really are helpful. I've decided just to go ahead and go over the whole thing. Because the uh, two to four hour wait, that's going to take all day to do. So I'm going to put on a fairly thick coat because I want bigger cracks. So here goes. Is that a hair in there already? I can't tell. Looks like it, but I can't get it out. Oh well, that's what I get from having a cat. So I'll have to turn it back up the other way, set it up to do the rest of it. And I'm only gonna do the sides. I'm not doing the inside and I'm not doing the handle. I've not used this brand before. We're gonna see how it rolls. Okay, I'm gonna continue on. Probably just gonna dump it on there. easier and getting it off the plate. 
I'm going to continue on and do all the sides. And on the front side, I have, I want a black star when it gets done because I am going over this in a white and then I'll antique it. So, well, getting a little dry right there. I was going to do this so I can show you the front. See, I have this star I'm covered, put there to have it when I get done, pull it off. All right, I want to continue on and finish coating this. I have it coated all four sides. And now I'm going to just sit back and let it dry. It says anywhere from two to four hours. I think this is dry. So we're going to see on one side how it does. And I'm going to use plaster, the color plaster by Waverly. Yeah, that was a hair. All right. Okay. I'm not talking much because I'm trying to concentrate. I'm not supposed to keep going over it. I want it more coated, but I can't keep going over it. going real lightly. Okay, I'm gonna let it dry and see how it does. Well, it has dried. Look at that. Just little bitty, teeny, tiny cracks. And you can only see them when you get way close. Really, just where I'm sitting, I can just barely see something like right in there. So, I'm going to repaint this black. And maybe try some Mod Podge. I don't know. I want Crackle. I'm not going to stop. So, I'm going back over this part here with black. Let it dry and start on something else. Okay, this thing has given me fits on the crackle, but I finally figured it out. After trying a bunch of different ways, repainting and redoing the, the uh, school glue or the jot white glue, you know, it worked, but the th problem with it is it was runny. So I poured some out in a little cup and I let it sit out for, well, I think overnight. Yeah, it was overnight. And the next day it was thickening up. I mean, it was so runny that it didn't even dry up. So I just stirred it up real good and I layered it on here and put, then immediately put my uh, plaster paint on by Waverly and let it dry, and that's the crackle I want. The only thing is I did forget, as you can see, this side's not crackled like I wanted, but see the star? I forgot to put my star on it, but I'll put a metal one on there. I can still paint it on if I want to. I'll decide, but now I'm working on, I'm gonna give it some wax, and I don't want it totally, I don't wanna go, I have a black wax and a brown wax, and I'm just kind of, 
with my brush. Can't see me off camera. I'm kind of got a little bit of both because I don't want it to go real dark on me. But I'm going to put this on. I want to make sure I don't have too much black. Where's my little rag? Nope, that's good. That's the way I like it. It's wiping off good. Anyway, so I put it in my wax and I kind of put it on my paper and twirled around because I don't want it really black, black. But I'm going to continue doing this and then I'm going to wipe it down and figure out what I'm going to do. I want to put a star on it or just leave it plain. It's just going to go above my cabinets with my jars in it. Okay, let's see what it does. I'll go ahead and wipe it down. We'll see what it does. I just didn't want the stark white. Okay. I like the, the dark tone to it. All right, now I'm gonna figure out what I want, what else I wanna to do to it. I don't have a lot left. I mean, it's really finished. The piece is really finished, except for maybe putting a star on it somewhere. Maybe, I don't know, I don't know. We'll see. I'll show you the finished product when it's done. Okay, I have it stenciled and I'm gonna pull it off. And that looks, I like that. I like that on there, okay. All right, that's probably all I'll do to it. I'll style it and let y'all see it. Well, I had to turn my lights out. As you can see, they're right above, right where I was shooting. And this is where I have it. It's where I wanted it, right above my cabinets. And it has my old mason jars. It's full of those kind of mason jars with the glass lids. And now I'm gonna move on to making something that I want to set right beside it. So on to the next one. Well, I'm out in my garage now and getting ready to cut down a four by four post. And I think I had it about three, I'm gonna cut it to about three and a half inches tall. And I'm using my miter saw. And I'm trying to find right now, trying to find where I had it marked. And I've cut the volume off on the saw so it wouldn't be too noisy. And now I'll just slice that piece off that I want to use. There it is. And once again, I'm going to do a voiceover because I'm using my saw. And as you can see, I'm cutting out a crow. I love crows. And this is my scroll saw. And it's a different scroll saw than what I had before. And my husband hasn't bolted it down for me yet. And it moves around on me. And I can't really tell, but he's going to have to get that bolted to the table finally lifted up the blower. I guess I should have had a little taller or had my camera set up a little higher so you could really see me cutting. But it won't take me long to cut this out.
I'm going to start on my uh, crow now. And what I'm going to do is just paint it black. This black and this black probably to stress them down. And then uh, put the dowel rod in here and attach it to the crow. And then kind of decorate it a little bit. <clears throat> this is a 4x4 four four fence post with a hole drilled in the middle to fit the dowel rod. And this I drew out of a pattern that I already had. And let's see, it's probably, hang on. It is about six and a half inches long and two inches wide. And that's the crow. Of course, I made it the size I wanted it just to kind of fit the size of the block. So this should be a relatively easy project to do. And I want it to go next to my uh, crate or cr tote, tote, that wood tote that gave me fits, which is probably all my fault, but I think I might have figured a few things out. Anyways, I'm gonna start painting these black and I'll distress them. And I'll show you what it looks like when I get done distressing them. Because it's just going to be black painting. And then I'll probably just stain this. Okay, I have them sanded down. Both of them. Now I'm going to just put a coat of the Minwax Special Dark on them. And let them set for just a little bit. And then I'll wipe them back. And then after I finish this, I'll uh, glue the crow onto the, with the dowel rod, onto my block. And put just a little bit of something on it, you know, something to decorate the block so it won't be so plain. And this one will be finished. It was easy. All right, this is the uh, cutting board that I cut out last week and was going to do something with and never made it around to it. So I'm going to decorate this cutting board up for the kitchen. And I'm using the uh, mixture of vinegar that I left a steel wool in and let it for about two weeks and let it marinade, I guess, and it'll make my wood look old, which it already has kind of that cast to it, but I am going to paint this up, and I'm going to set it outside. The wind's blowing good. It shouldn't take it long to dry, but it does wet it pretty good, so finish this up and set it outside to dry, and then we'll start decorating it. Okay, I want to use this in a project, and I'm, I'm going to have a shadow in here, but it's the only way I can shoot it. So, I'm going to use this uh, Mod Podge spray, because I do not like this that bright of color. I'm going to cover that, and it's leaking on my fingers. And I need to turn off my thing before it dries. Okay, then I'm just going to sprinkle some trying to get out of there. I just don't like it that bright with what I'm fixing. You know I like it rusty crusty. That's not the easiest thing. This one didn't have a shaker on it. And I went to get some more cinnamon and it was light colored. I'm going to have to pay attention to that when I'm buying it. Okay. Now, I've done that, put coat on, and then put that on there. Now I'm gonna spray another coat on top. And that'll just kinda darken it up some and make it look rusty. Cause I didn't really wanna paint it on. It looks totally different in the camera. You can really see the silver in the camera and out, you really can't. Okay, I'm going to uh, 
do up a couple a wooden spoon and this paddle <clears throat> to use on my breadboard. And I'm just going to paint this black. And when it dries, I'll take it out and just kind of just distress it a little bit around the edges. Really could use some foam to stick this in. Oh well, I'll just paint one side and then the other. It won't take it long to dry. But I'm just gonna paint this black and distress it and I'll be back. Okay, I have it painted and it's dried. Let's see, make sure I'm in the camera. And now I'm just gonna sand it down on the edges. Kind of do that. I'm not, I don't really need to go all the way down because this part's going to be down hidden in the pocket. I am putting a pocket on my board. Minwax Special Dark, where it doesn't do a lot, but it does seal it and turns that, like the wood parts, a little more brown. And Well, I finished the spoon. Let me show you. There's the difference. So I will hit this with the Minwax Special Dark also. And I'll have those ready to go. And by then, my board should be dried. It's this here, in case. I always forget that everybody doesn't watch me all the time. They might Somebody might meet new and not know what I'm talking about, and I just keep going. So it is a Men Wax Paste Finish and Wax in Special Dark. I use it a lot. I'll just go over it like this, let it set for five to 10 minutes, and come back and wipe it down with a soft cloth, and it'll be finished and be sealed. My board's all dry now, and you can see how aged it looks, but I'm just gonna go ahead and give it a coat of the uh, plaster color, and then I'll sand it back some. And then I'll put this board together. After this is all dried and sanded back, I should be ready to put it all together. All right, I have all the pieces finished and I think that's the way I want it. This is some, uh, well, it's actually part of a tea towel that I had that I cut up and used. So I'm going to see make sure I have them done the way I wanted them. I want that to come down about right there. I want everything to show. Maybe like that. Okay. Now I'm going to take the cord that I'm getting around off my phone and I'm wiggling my camera. And I'm going to glue all this down on there where I want it. I don't know what's touching. Okay. I can see right up around it. It's going to touch right there. Oops. Well, 
Maybe right in the middle of that. Yeah, it's all glued down. I'm going to make sure that's where I want it. Yeah, like that. All right, glue gun again. Where's it going to start? About right there. Turn it this way. That right there. Oh, I pushed that off. Well, I want to glue it anyway. Okay. Pull that over. Okay, it's going to touch. You can see right here and right up here. Oh, that needs a little more up here. Make sure it's on the edge. Where did I have that at? Right there. Now, maybe put the hot glue right here to hold it temporarily. All right. Now, Everything but this is on with the other glue. It'll probably pop off on me too. Okay, I'm gonna leave a little slack in that because I wanna stuff some things down in there. I think I'm going to maybe put some little tacks or something on the side. Yeah, that one came up on that one. Okay, I need to cut this down. I'm going to let this dry for just a little while and come back and finish it. It won't be very long for y'all because I want that to dry some, the glue, this glue. Well, I'm really struggling with getting this photographed because it's dark outside and my house is already dark. I mean, I either have a bad glare because of the windows or it's just dark. But I'm going to show you the best I can on it. I'm trying not to make you sick. And there, here it is, finished. I'll get a close-up so you can see the wooden tools in it. And I ended up, I kept wanting to fall off, so I ended up using this thick double-sided tape stuff. And that secured them good. And then I made the uh, cloth, cloth flower for it. And if you haven't seen that, I'll have the video linked down below on how I make cloth flowers. But that's it. All right, guys. I appreciate every one of you watching and commenting and liking and sharing. And until the next one, we'll see you later.